Hi guys! Today we'll show you the best 5 cycling routes in the new forest. Only a 90 minute direct train journey from London to Brockenhurst with over 100 miles of designated cycling paths, New Forest National Park is definitely one of the best places to cycle safely in the UK. We have been the biggest cycle hub in the New Forest for the last 26 years. And for that time, we have taken the chance to explore the best corners of the park. We are sharing our best finds that would suit all ages and abilities. So let's get started. Route number one, Ornamental Woods Route. Distance between 11 to 17 miles and the route will take you about two and a half to five hours. This is our most traffic free and flat ride to the famous Oaking pub at the bank. So this route is ideal for families with young kids or if you're a leisure cyclist, that is the route for you. The pub though can get very busy at weekends and bank holidays so it might be worth booking in advance. There is an optional extension to the route which takes in uh, the Ornamental Woods route, Blackwater Arboretum and Rhinefield House Hotel where you can stop and enjoy some refreshments. Route number two, bike to Bewley. Distance? 13 to 22 miles and the route will take you about two and a half to five hours to complete. An incredibly scenic route. You can cut it short if you like with a lunch stop at the Turf Cutters Arms in East Boulder after passing the largest freshwater pond in the New Forest, Hatchet Pond. The long version of the route takes you through Bewley and along the river route to the beautiful Butler's Heart. Um, on the way back, you will return through a disused runway used mainly by American planes in the Second World War. The route on the way back is pretty flat, so why not try it? Route number three, Burley on your backside. The distance of this route is between 21 to 23.5 miles and the route will take you about four to five hours to complete. One of our more adventurous routes going through the old steam railway track from Brockenhurst to Ringwood. You will start off with um, a cycle track, after that the route continues through woodland trails and quiet lanes before returning to the ornamental woods route mentioned beforehand. You will get to explore the historic smugglers village of Burley where you can stop off at the local cider farm for a refreshing pint of cider. Route number 4, Seaside Ride. Distance 6.5 to 23 miles and the route will take you around 4 to 5 hours to complete. One of our most varied routes taking in the quiet lanes to Leamington Town, um, followed by an entry to the coast path with cycling access. Your view along the seawall will include Hearst Castle, the beautiful Isle of Wight and the Needles. The route returns from Key Haven along lanes and trails, followed by the old steam railway track. And at over 20 miles, this is an ideal electric bike ride. Route number five, Lizard Loop. Distance 21 miles and the route will take you four to five hours to complete. This is a great option for more adventurous riders. The route uses some of the trails on our ornamental and burly on your backside routes. Heading up to the high point at Boulderwood, which is a heady 360 feet. The reason why this route is called Lizard Loop is because it takes an optional detour to the New Forest Reptile Center near Emery Down. One of the highlights of this route is the Boulderwood Deer Sanctuary where you can go and have a look at the deer from the specifically designed deer viewing platform. If you fancy some cream tea and cake on route, you can always swing by Acres Down Farm near Emery Down. They also have a farm shop. So guys, I'm hoping this was helpful to you. These are our five top suggestions for cycling routes in the new forest. If you haven't, download our free GPS cycling app, Cycling in the New Forest. The links are in the description below. Enjoy your cycling adventures in the new forest.